Welcome to Ambray Farm. I'm here from Center Fellowship Church in Orangeville. I'm Chris Cox. I'm a member of St. John's Church. Orangeville Christian Reformed Church. This is where the uh, refugees come. They plant their gardens in these little plots and uh, uh, every two weeks they come back we plant a little bit more and then we start to harvest it. It's a little bit about food but it's a lot about community. These are, just, these are scallions. These are green onions, actually. Well, I am with Sam. I like growing and, uh, and good to see, see something like you start from small and you see it growing, growing by the Lord well. And the good things about the land, like where, what, as much as you give it, it will give you. So also it's a good, for me, it's a good lesson for the kids to learn. My mom really likes gardening and she would like to have a place to farm. Because I used to live in a small village. In Syria? Yeah, mm -hmm. in Syria. Getting to know this 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 family that's arrived, they oh, have brought a richness a to our congregation that you know, it's God's people coming together. My name is Jennifer Curvin, and my original connection with refugee ministry actually came through Jenny Miedema at Remember Ministries. I just saw a couple um, this past week on Friday morning who had been in Canada for 36 hours, and she just kept saying, I can't believe we're here. And you can hear the laughter in the background. They're actually harvesting uh, their first crops. They've been in a refugee camp for 10 years. A lot of stress. A lot of trauma. Uh, they've come from war-torn countries. Some of them have been uh, jailed for their beliefs. The conditions that they've left, they haven't entirely left. Or their families haven't entirely left. So um, it's a very delicate situation. It's bringing uh, the spirit uh, of, of God's abundance to these people and saying, hey, welcome to Canada. When we first migrated from our uh, home country, it was not an easy task. So uh, everybody has everybody has to to make his own way to be in a safe place. Coming to a new community, it's like as an adult, you have you have become like a baby to that community. You have to learn everything. You have to learn the culture ways of speaking, expressions, everything there. So it was a bit painful when it takes time. We've waited there for about four years. This is our permanent home, uh, we say. So we still believe God he will provide us with a job, with the license, with everything. Sometimes these people have come from countries where there's been sectarian violence, where perhaps Christians and Muslims have been fighting, or different sects of, uh, of Islam are fighting. And here they are, they're now in a garden with people of many faiths. And so we have to make sure that we keep a, an, an open spot, an open space for them to be who they are, um, without bringing up some of the dredging of those horror stories that they've come from. Yes, oh yes, you can use it. Yeah, and you can use this part too. Yes, you use yeah. Yes, yes. It's such a heartfelt experience to actually be able to welcome them, and it's kind of an incarnational sort of ministry. Uh, gets us out of a church and actually um, doing things with people on the street uh, in real life, and uh, it's an amazing experience for anybody that's involved. <laughs> 